Okay, I'm Nilla. You might have seen or heard me before if you're coming from Zeet. Um, I think my face is in one video there and I feel like I look a bit different because my hair was not good. I also have just washed my hair so the back is not my problem at the moment. Um, we're just going to ignore what's going on there. But yeah, so we're just going to be going over the 10 books that I read this month. Uh, spoiler alert, I don't normally read that many books in a month. I normally read um, about zero. I've actually only read 28 books this year. I'm eight books behind schedule. I was going to try and read 52, like one book a week. Uh, failed. Um, so I'm going to have to read two books a week, which is probably not going to happen. But you know what? we move so i've got my ipad here so i can see what i rated them because honestly i don't remember reading half of these books i've got two books i want to read this month which is september if you don't know your months um and i've got the two books that i'm reading at the moment i'm actually reading four books at the moment but we're not going to count the other two because i don't care about them um and yeah so we're just going to get started i have a cup a mug of tea here this is probably the biggest mug i own um and we're just gonna talk through them and it's gonna be cute and yeah so cheers <laughs> was that? okay so starting off i would say strong this was probably my lowest rated book of the month let's have a look i don't normally give books like one or two stars i think i've only given a couple one or two stars i i'm i, I feel like i'm quite nice about it if there's something I really like about it, I'll like at least give it three. But I'm sorry, this is not. You see, it wasn't that bad. Let me... I say that. It just felt a bit like a fever dream. I had no idea what was happening at any point. And to be honest, I actually don't remember what happens, which really speaks for a lot. Um, I was about to spoil the ending and say what happens at the end, but I'm not going to do that. It's basically this girl who has an enemy at the school that she goes to and this girl locks her in the laundry room at a party so the girl sneaks out of the laundry room and she like goes underground and all this stuff she comes out and she finds her bully's body it's really like it sounds like it would be good does it like it sounds like it's gonna be a good book spoiler it's not that good it was just very confusing very odd so i did give it two stars i was quite nice about it because to be honest i didn't know if it was just i didn't like it or if it was because i was reading it in a car and you know car vibes they're quite different to like um sorry if the camera it is on a tripod i promise you i swear to you it's on a tripod i just move a lot um cars give different vibes than reading at home i like reading in the car a lot more than at home just because i feel like i can actually read in the car at home i struggle so much which is why i literally never read a book because i feel like i could do something else like i like to crochet instead i just finished this is gonna look really weird i swear it looks better on this is like a sock leg warmer it looks really strange it's so cute on I would show you but i don't want to show you without making the second one so i'm making the second one at the moment um but this bit's basically like oversized so it like folds down and it's all cute and then i made a top that's that i'm not going to show you because i'm not going to get distracted because i don't want to give will which is he's my friend who's editing this i love you um too much to do because i love him that much and i'm just that generous stop it um but yeah so that was not a good start i think i read that on the 10th i read that on the 10th yeah i read that on the 10th of august in the car on the way to wales wales i basically had two periods this month where i was reading and it was when i went to wales and then when i went to cornwall which were my basically like two holidays i went to wales to watch a football match and then i stayed there because i had family there and then we went to cornwall on at, like a family holiday the second book which i read in wales i love this book I could like I gen like a lot of people have been talking about this book. I love it so much. It's a little bit strange at points. I understand why it's like this, but um, I just I did find it a little bit weird at points. I don't know why the main character wears a tiara. You can probably already guess what it is. It's if he had been with me. Oh, I also didn't say what this one was called. This one is They All Had a Reason by Michelle Leathers. I'm sure you're a lovely author. I have all of I have all of that series, so I will probably be reading the rest of it. Um, I just don't. I'm just not that much of a fan, to be honest. If He Had Been With Me by Laura... The dog. Laura... 
no 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 i don't know how to say your last name I'm gonna be honest i really liked it i get why um oh no it's ritz who did that it was probably the no a storm wouldn't have been able to guess it uh it's actually what the hell happened okay <laughs> didn't know that was ripped i gave this five stars just because i don't know i feel like the characters like i love like friends to lovers and obviously it's got like if you haven't read it i'm not going to spoil it but it's got like quite a dark ending but friends to lovers on top it goes for me friends to lovers anything else age gap where it's over like a hundred years pregnancy anything by colleen hoover sorry girl not a fan no um but if you've been with me i just i just think it's like it's just so lovely and it's so great and it's such like i don't know anyone who reads this book most people that read this book will tell you how incredible it is i just wish i'd stopped reading i'm gonna find the chapter i wish i'd stopped reading at chapter let me find it you'll know which chapter i'm talking about when i find it if you've read this book you probably already know what chapter i'm talking about please don't look at the top of my head my hair's very frizzy at the moment because i just washed it and i blow dried it oh my dad's outside with the dog sorry if you can hear that okay i wish it stopped at chapter 84 this part of the book very unnecessary it's actually quite a very small part of the book but just this page i would rip it out i'm not going to do that um if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about because it's horrible and i wish the book didn't end there i really do as you know i wish it did end there and then the next book i read is honestly I, I i've read this before and i loved it because it's holly jackson and all of her books are incredible if you're watching this i don't know how authors sponsor people but you know you want to you know you want to um but i just like this was my least favorite of the books just because of how dark it was but as good as dead five stars i love it so much like genuinely the first time i read this i think the reason i didn't i think i gave it four or three no i think i gave the second one four i've reread all of them and given them all five stars because they're all five stars um but this one was just a i read it when i was like 14 it was when i started this channel which is i haven't posted on for a year i think i was 14 when i started this or 13 something like that i just it was way too dark for me but now i'm rereading it and i'm like there were so many clues throughout all of the books of what was going to happen like the unread e the, the, the unsent email i'm sorry andy bell just like there are many spoilers in this so maybe we put a spoiler warning at the beginning will we um i just this book is so incredible like i can't there's nothing i can say about it i love um what's it called mystery murder mysteries that was why i read this book murder mystery and romance are my two favorite genres and you're going to see that in this i think there's literally one other type of book in this maybe not murder mystery we're gonna say mystery i'm gonna say mystery but i just it's so good as good as dead is so good i read that oh sorry when did i read this i read this apparently on the 26th of july 2022 i think that's oh wait so when how old was i 2022 i was 15 okay i was very wrong i was 15 not 13 or whatever i said before oh there's a second one of this book i didn't know that so i read this i finished this this was this was the first book of my holiday to cornwall um and i actually kept track of how much i was reading a day and i think i read eight books in eight days something like that seven books in seven days i can we'll put a screenshot here if will does it of how many i read but the next one was cross the line because you know me well, you don't know me you're gonna know me romance i love romance it's so good and i i like formula one um i'm not gonna tell the story of how i started liking it with my dad um but i just thought i saw loads of people on tiktok that like this one and i was like hmm you know what let's go for it sorry it's cold 
Mm. Um, I saw loads of people on TikTok that were like, it's so good, it's so good. So I was like, hmm, you know what, I'll go for it. And I was in Waterstones in London and I was like, hmm, we're gonna, it. We're gonna do it. And I got it. I've rated it four stars. I probably, I don't know. I liked it. I did like it. I'm not saying I didn't like it, but I just feel like I haven't thought about it since I finished it. And I feel, I feel like I'd give it three and a half, but I don't want to round down. So we're going to say three and a half. Just because, like, if he'd been with me, I thought of after. As good as dead, I thought of after. I thought. I thought of after. But this one, I just haven't. Like, it hasn't crossed my mind once. So I think I'm going to go down to three and a half. Um, but it was really good. I, I am really bad at paying attention to names. So there were so many names in this, like the names of the teams, because obviously they're not using the real teams. It was like, it was very confusing. I'm also not a big fan of, like, you know what, in books. And this had that, and I, I was kind of not a fan, which also leads me on to the next one. The next one I read, Lonely For You Only, which I think, Oh, sorry, I didn't say who this is by. Okay, this is by Simone Sultani. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I'm sorry if I've said any of the names wrong. Please correct me. Um, I'm not the best with that sort of thing. Even though literally everyone I've ever met has said my name wrong. So I want to be better at saying other people's names because I know how it feels to have your name said wrong. So <laughs> thanks. Um, so this is Lonely For You Only by Monica Murphy. She has quite a lot of popular books. I think the most popular one is A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime. I'm going off the back of the book. But I saw, I actually, oh, it also says on the front. I wasn't expecting very much from this just because I looked up the reviews before and they weren't the best reviews I've seen. They were like, oh, this probably isn't her best book. But to be honest, I didn't like it at the beginning as well. I really didn't like it at the beginning because I didn't like, what's his name? I didn't like Tate Ramsey. He was kind of annoying. And the girl just seemed a bit like a pick me, I'm not gonna lie. Like, d not a pick me, but just the way they were describing like the massive dress she was wearing. I was like, the girl, okay. But then when I, when I got into it, I was like, okay. I kind of, I quite like this. I do quite like this. And I quite like the, the like kind of trope where you've got like, trying to stay out of the spotlight and there's loads of people that are like trying to get into the spotlight and you're just like no you don't get to know about our relationship stay away it's just like you know every feeling you don't know that you're gonna find out eventually we're gonna do our research i don't know what i'm saying i'm sorry um but i also gave this four stars but again i haven't thought about it since so I oh i'll tell you who i hated what's his name the guy that she, Ian, I hated Ian. From the get-go, I was like, mm, girl, no, we don't like Ian. Why is he, like, the, when, sorry, spoilers again. When he was saying, like, oh, because I was thinking, like, oh, okay, I, oh, the trope I like as well, fake dating. I love fake dating. Best in the movies, I have two copies. I love Best in the movies. It's my favourite book ever. It's so, like, I don't care if that's basic to say i love it so much i would die for that book whereas in there's you have my heart forever and ever and ever she's not you girl okay sorry so i was thinking oh fake dating cool but i feel like they fell in love too quickly and i feel like they kind of were starting to go down the route where it's like um what's it called where it's like oh yeah, we're doing it to get back at Ian. And then they just didn't go through with that. So I'm like, I'm not, like, I would have liked it more if they'd gone through with that sort of thing instead of it just being like, oh, I, I liked it. I'm not going to say I didn't like it because I did really like it and I genuinely couldn't stop, like, reading it. Because when we were in the car, I remember, like, we were going to test, like, I would literally be begging to go in the car because when I was at home, I just can't read when I'm at home. I don't know what it is. I can. I just choose not to. But I was like, please, can we go in the car? Literally, any chance I got. Like, I, we literally, like, drove to Tesco, which was, like, 
40 minutes away from the house just so I could read. Well, it wasn't, we also did need food, but um, I'm gonna imagine it was so that I could read because I don't know, I really liked it. I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna change this one to three and a half because I did really, really like it. I just do hope Ian dies. And if you disagree with me, <laughs> there's the door. The door's actually over there. The next book. I have read this and I actually didn't watch it this summer, which I'm really annoyed at myself because I said I was going to, and I said I was going to watch it with my mum and I never ended up doing it. But I read this every summer. The summer I turned pretty. I love you. Team Jeremiah or Team Comrad. Get into comments, say which one you are. I think, I don't know, I feel like I go between them a lot. At first I was very much Team Jeremiah just because like Golden Retriever. And I was just like, hmm, he doesn't, he doesn't go for the same things Conrad does. He's so cute. He's so great. And also just like, oh, this was before I read the books. This was not. And then my friend told me, my friend that had read all the books told me, she was like, um, girl, this happens in the third book. And she told me what happens with Jeremiah. And I was like, <laughs> I think I might be team Conrad now, girl. I think I'm gonna do the switch. We're gonna do the switcheroo, the switcheroo to Team Comrade. And then last summer, I don't know what happened. I just decided I was Team Jeremiah again, but I was like, yeah, but it's only for the books. It's only for the books. It's, no, it's only for the TV show. It's why, it's why he deserves it. He deserves it so much. And now I'm just like, mm, Cam Cameron, any day, all day, any day. He's, I'll take him. I will take him. I'll take Cam Cameron. I love you. I love you so much. He's just, he's just so cute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, when you're doing this, insert a picture. Mwah. I just love Cam Cameron. I gave this book five stars. I think I gave it five stars the year before as well. And next, I need, to, what's the next one? Next, I need to read. Um, if I can remember what, it's not Summer Without You. Is that the second one? I need to read whatever the second one is next summer so that I am just like keeping in line, you know? Because it's really, I don't know why I made it. I made it like half an hour before I actually started talking because people were just kept, kept coming upstairs. Like I'm trying to do this so it's not loud. But yeah, five stars. I'm team Cam Cameron, but also Jelly because Jelly sounds way cuter than Bonrad. Bon rad bon rad no but also jeremiah is just a bit embarrassing sometimes like literally every person i talk to about this is like yeah he literally what's the thing he says with a teddy he's like why does no one want to play with me okay girl shut up I'm just not a fan of that part but you know anything else i love you i love you jeremiah okay next the next thing i read was a court of thorns and roses because i remember really liking it when i read it the first time i did give it four stars i'm not going to take it down because i'm going to go with what i originally gave it but i just i used to really like fantasy i feel like i don't like it as much as i used to i don't know what happened i just i feel like it's the only part i like about this is enemies to lovers but it's not even that good of an enemies to lovers like they they're lovers pretty quickly and i'm just not the biggest fan of when they're like lovers that quickly just because it's like you want them to literally be enemies for like the whole fa like especially if it's a series i understand why this one's not because obviously the next book is rysand rysand i don't know how to say his name um but i just like it more when there's like more time before they're lovers because i feel like it just it's just better it just works better. I want to look at the reviews because I know there's going to be some funny reviews. Let's have a look at some reviews. Oh, I also, the only reason I read this in the first place was because of Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast is like my favourite film ever. Okay, this, so I don't know why we've turned it to reviews. Okay, so this is um, the Akatar drinking game. If you want to play a drinking game. Uh, drink every time you read the words, a shiver went down my spine. My knees buckled. In a heartbeat, or a heartbeat later, I would never be able to paint it. Male slash female, smirk, snarl, prowl, purr. Uh, take a shot every time Tamlin or Rysan's overwhelming sexiness is mentioned. The word claim is used in connection to sex. Um, <laughs> okay. 
Feyre, is that how you say it? I don't know how to say any of the names, is harassed by Tamlin or Rysand, but in a sexy way, so it's okay. Yeah, I might change it from five to... This is it. This is the stupidest book I've ever read. To be fair, I kind of get it. There is literally... I didn't think about this when I was rating it. There is literally a ceremony where... Um... He prowls the halls to find a mate to have sex with so that's quite fun i'm starting to think maybe i shouldn't give it four because ah this might be my favorite review ever a court of dumb heroine and her horny love interests it's the new title hope you like it <laughs> this is mental i didn't think it people disliked it this much to be honest one of them is just no. Yeah, I feel like I might be changing my review to one star. Just because when I read, I don't really, it doesn't really go in my head. But oh, I don't, why did I close it? That was stupid. Maybe we shouldn't give that a four. Maybe we should give it a three, no, a two. We're gonna give that a two, but I'm, yeah. Okay, the next book I read, which I really liked because again, enemies to lovers and He's been in love with her the whole time. Tell me that's not the cutest thing I've ever heard. Okay. I hope this doesn't find you. By oh. Anne Liang. Is that how you say it? It's so great. I love it so much. I love it so much. The emails, everything about it. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I love it. Just like he's just like so cute what's his name i've forgotten all the name julius julius is so cute he's like i'll do the run for you because you're about to collapse i'll help you i won't hate you for your emails i love you i love you julius and sadie girl we need to get our act together a little bit I'm not gonna lie Especially, like, the way she responds when someone literally writes, like, w one single thing on the wall. Like, girl, I understand it's hurtful. As you know, I would get it. I think I would cry too. And it's, it's cute because he goes and, goes and like, punches the guy. And it's like, that's cute. That's cute. I've been sat here for 25 minutes and done nothing. But yeah, I gave that four stars. It was just cute. It was just cute. It was just great. It was a lot of fun. That was... There's not really much I, more I can say about it. I just really liked it. Um, the next book is probably my... This used to be my favourite book. I don't know if I'd say it is now. I did give... I, I've read this like six times and I've given it five stars every time. Uh, All of Us Villains by Amanda Foody and Christine Lynn Herman. I love this book so much. My favourite character, my favourite character when I first read it was, um, what's his name? Alice, no, Alice's brother, what's Alice's brother's name? Henry, I used to really love Henry. And then, spoiler warning, when he came back to life, I was like, I don't like you as much anymore. Why are you suddenly like an evil little ghost man? But Alistair, you are my favourite character. I'll probably read, um, what's the other one called? What's this sequel called? I've forgotten. Um, All of Us Villains 2, we're gonna call it. I'll probably read that soon. But I just really liked it. I love it. I love, that's probably one of the only fantasy books I like, just because I like that it's like Hunger Games sort of thing. I like just the characters. I like the way it switches point of views, but only for the like the important characters. I like that, um, it's just really fun. It's just like, I feel like I could just read it whenever. And I don't normally say that about fantasy books. So, you know. And then the last book that I read, which I technically finished in September, but I started it in um, August, uh, was Tangled Up In You by Christina Lauren. I've only read one of her books before and I think it was, what else has she written? Did I read The Unhoneymooners? I think I read The Unhoneymooners. 
and I didn't like it that much. So I was thinking, oh, I'm not gonna like this that much. Like, apparently I go into books with quite low expectations, but I did give it five stars. I really liked it. I didn't like it at the beginning and I hate Gloria and Stefan or whatever his face, or is her name Gloria Stefano? I don't know, but it was just fun. It was like, it was just really cool. It's like, again, I love fairy tale retellings and the fact that it was Rapunzel. I've never seen a Rapunzel retelling. I'm probably gonna read all of these books. The first, like, Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast. Yes, get me in there right now. Um, Little Mermaids, I will be reading very soon. I just need to find them. But I just, again, romance. It has my heart. Always has, always will. That's all I have to say. Okay, the next thing, the like two more things to do. Wow. So fun. Um, the next thing is the books I'm reading at the moment and will hopefully finish soon. If only I had told her. I hope you like my um, bookmark as well. It is a piece of wool that I cut off and tied. I like this very much. I like how it's like the split po like sp split POVs, but like they each have their own segment. Obviously, I wanted Finn's side of the story, so I had to read it. And the other book is Sir, Sir, see, you tell me how to say it. Um, I tried to read this like two years ago and I gave up, but... I'm doing the Odyssey as part of my English coursework. So I was like, hmm, I've got to try. And I feel like when I'm annotating books, I actually read them properly. So I'm annotating that and I really, really like it. Like I really, really, really like it. I think it's really good. Like I, I've read 141 pages in like three days, which isn't that good for me. Like, uh, actually that's quite good. But like in like, that's in like the space of a couple hours i really like it and it's really good and i like like greek mythology and learning more about it and the final thing i'm sorry i know you've enjoyed this so much i know you've enjoyed everything this so much really the books i'm going to read this month the reappearance of rachel price i don't know how i haven't read it yet because i was literally talking about how much i love holly jackson like 20 minutes ago but i just i haven't had a chance to i literally got it the day it was released in the works and i just haven't had the chance to read it but I'm going to, I promise. I'm going to read it as soon as possible. I just haven't had the time yet because it's quite, it's quite girthy, like, but I will read it. And the only other book is The Grandest Game because Jennifer Lynn Barnes, I love you. I think she's gonna be in London soon. I wanna see if I can go see her. But I love getting her hardbacks because you can get them signed. And I have three of her other books that are signed, but this one's signed Villa Villa, which is like the nickname, literally everyone calls me. Like if you want to see it again, everyone calls me that on there. Literally all of my family calls me that, my friends call me that. People just like rhyming my name with things. And now she knows me as that, which is fun. But yeah, that's she everything. So it was cool to talk to you. If you have any book recommendations, please, Pop them down now. I hope you had fun. I hope you managed to do some work while you're watching this. Maybe some crochet, maybe some knitting, maybe some schoolwork. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, I'm sorry, that was so weird. If you if you want me to do that again, please tell me because that was weird. <laughs>